Hey everybody, uh, just a quick little tutorial on how to use the surface area of a cone to solve these types of problems that might appear on the GED test. So we have a formula right from the formula sheet, and again we know what a cone looks like. Right? It's like an upside down ice cream cone or one of the orange cones that we see on the highways. But we have to know what to put in the formula. Remember, formulas are like recipes. We have to put in the right ingredients. And if we put in the right numbers in the right places, and we put it into our calculator, we get the right answer. That's how we do uh, GED geometry problems. So let's make sure we know what we have to put into the formula. We have to know what our ingredients are. So it says SA, surface area, is equal to pi times the radius of the base of the cone times s. Now s is something new. s is actually what we call the slant height. And the slant height, right, is this dimension right here, right? It's from the tip of the cone to the bottom of the base on the outside. And it's at a slant, so we call it the slant height, or s. Right? The full height of the cone would be measured from the center of the cone to the top, like if it were a, a center tent pole inside of a teepee. But we don't want that measurement. If that measurement is given, don't use that. Use the slant height in this formula. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Pi times the radius times the slant height. And then we're going to add to it, which is actually the area of the circle on the bottom, pi r squared, right? That's that familiar formula for area of a circle. So we're going to add these two things together and it's going to give us the total surface area of the cone. If we were wrapping this cone in paper and, and making a circle for the bottom, what is the total area of the wrapping paper that we need? This is the formula we're going to use. So let's put the numbers in here and write it out because we always want to write things out before we put it into the calculator. So it says surface area equals pi, so we're going to put our value that we always use for pi, 3.14, right? And then we're going to times it by our radius, and we can do this by simply writing it in parentheses. That way we can put it in the calculator just like this too. So we can put the radius in there, and again, the radius is 8, halfway across. If they gave us a diameter, we're going to have to chop that in half before we put it in the formula. But they give us a radius of 8, so I'll put that right in there. Close the parentheses, and then I'm going to put another parentheses with the slant height, 18. Close the parentheses, and then we're going to add to it, right? We're going to add to it. Pi again, 3.14 times the radius, which is 8. And that we are going to raise to the second power, right? So we're going to raise it to the second power, or squaring it. And we can put it, we could actually put it inside the parentheses or outside, it doesn't really matter. But that's what we want to put into our calculator. So let me see if I can snap the calculator over so we can see that as well. All right, and we'll put our whole formula on here. So now we want to put it into the GED calculator. So I'm going to put it in just the way I wrote it. 3.14 parentheses 8, close parentheses, parentheses 18, close the parentheses, plus 3. 0.14 pi again times the radius and again I could put the x squared I could square it right inside the parentheses or outside doesn't really matter in this particular case but there I have it all in there right exactly the way I wrote it and I hit enter and it comes out to 653.12 I guess we're talking about centimeters so I'm going to round it off, if that's what the directions tell me to do, to one decimal place, the tenths place. I see a 1 there, and next to it I see a 2, which tells me I'm going to leave the 1 alone. So going back over here, my final answer is going to be 653.1, since I'm rounding it off to just one decimal place, 
and that's going to be square centimeters. And that's it. Thank you.